Well, Russ and Matt, if I send one to both of you, here's some pieces I've cut. There's a couple pieces of pipe, a little ring, a couple blue braces, some short channel. Right there, those three little things look like a couple of spacers or some shims I need for something. I can't remember. And uh, But they'll fit when they go together. A couple pieces of short angle iron. A couple wheels. Those ones are nice big green ones. And I had to buy that little crappy one. The rest of this stuff is uh, a bunch of junk that was going to go in a dumpster. So... I had to go buy a little bit of weld rod and I'm going to stick some of it together and show you guys how it goes. Well here we go. I put the upright deal on through a couple quick tack welds. We're using the stick welder because it's cheaper to operate. I forgot to mention that long rusty looking piece there about three foot. There's also a bunch of junk that was laying around. But anyhow, that's that part. I'm going to add a couple braces. I'm to use the damn camera so I can't focus very well. So, anyhow, a couple of these braces go about like this. Maybe we'll get her to see if how half close that is to something. You know, one there. And then, uh, you know, kind of like that, you see. And then one on the other side, and then there's going to be another one kicking off towards the front eventually. Anyhow, I'm going to do a little more tacking on this thing, and we'll check it out in a minute. Here we go with a little action photo. Maybe you can see the pilot bearing spinning. Anyhow, we're cutting a little bit of steel. Uh, I'll give a quick... Oh, there it went. It's done. Anyhow, I was going to give you a pan out of the garage. i got to shut the welder off. Alright, anyhow, there's the car since we're standing there. Basically over, there's a bus seat to keep you somewhere to sit next to the wood stove. we got her cooking. It's about, I don't know, 60 in here it feels like. Here's the rest of the garage though. There's junk everywhere. Here's a press I just built. There's the ram. And there's different things that I've made that you can press stuff out with. I used it on some pretty big bearings. I bent it all up and had to refabricate it the first time I used it. So the cylinder's good. Anyhow, what I'm really looking at is this rotisserie. Anyhow, I got it flipped back up because uh, I forgot to show you one thing. We're going to have it be uh, somewhat disassemblable. Take this bolt out and I beefed up this inside here so it goes through one, two, three plates of steel. And this one's about five-eighths thick and it's going to be all welded like you wouldn't believe in there. And uh, a little stronger with the removable part. And then I'm going to flip it back up again. Now I got that one little kicker brace put on too. It just kind of does a. It's going to be welded here at the bottom, see? And then, but just a, a foot up from it, it's going to just butt into another piece that I've got laying here somewhere. Right there it is. Anyhow, I got this piece. It's just going to get welded there and butt right up in there. So, anyhow, I'm going to do a little more. I've also got a piece that fits on here that we're going to work on next. I might fit it up. If I can find a spot to set this, there we go. What we got there? Well, that's about just right, except it's crooked. Anyhow, we got a couple pieces. I don't know how well you can see. A couple pieces that seem to fit pretty decent on here and here. And then I got a couple more of these. They just kind of, I'll show you on this side. It's maybe a little more visible. It goes on there, sort of. And I uh, get one more goes on here. I'm just going to make a deal. It kind of travels up and down. and can be taken right off. I got to add a couple shims. In between this area here and over here, I 
found a piece of uh, paper right out of a phone book. Maybe somebody you don't like. You just cut up their page. You fold it three times and then fold it in half again. Tuck the paper in between here and in between here and it gives you a pretty good space on it. I already built the prototype. This is the other end. So it makes it a little easier. I cut the pieces all that we've assembled already beforehand. So that's why it's kind of going relatively quick and I'm only tack welding things together.